Right, this is Mike from the Mike James Rock Show. We're at Incineration Festival. This gentleman will introduce himself. Apollo Young from Moore Noir. How's it going, man? It's going uh, great. Yeah? Yeah. It's been a while since you've been in the UK. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, you played earlier. How was the show? I thought it was a good set. Uh, yeah. Good, good crowd. Good. Uh, I heard the sound was good out, which is the only thing that matters. The sound on stage was crap, but that's, uh, that's only our concern. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Is it good to be back playing in front of a British audience again? Were they enjoying it? Yeah, it always is. So uh, we have a good uh, following here in the UK, so it's, it's always good to come back. Cool. Uh, mm. you're, you're doing quite a lot of festivals around the world this year, I've noticed. Is there any ones which are, you're eager to get to besides the one you've just played at? Uh, we're going to uh, Baltimore next, in a couple of weeks, uh, Maryland Death Fest. Yes. It's a very good festival. Uh, we've been there two times before, and then we do... Uh, Tons of rock, I think, in Norway. That is quite interesting. That tons. Yeah, of rock. but at least the day we're playing is like Venom, Twisted Sister, Mayhem, uh, Niflheim. So it should be a fun, uh, fun times at some fortress. That but, sounds interesting. Yeah, and then we're not doing. Uh, we're making a new album. So uh, all of July we've like booked for uh, so uh, making making new songs and uh, okay. Yeah. So you're actually in the studio, or you're just jamming and rehearsing. No, we're, we're jamming first and then studio uh, in uh, September. I think the new album is set for January next year. Okay. Yeah. So it's very early stages, you know. Yeah. You still got some ideas floating around and mm. just getting. Yeah, we them had together. one session actually. Because uh, we're old and we live far away from each other and everyone has their obligations uh, everywhere. So what we do is, uh, like last, we played in Portugal a couple of weeks ago and we, uh, or a month or something. And then we just rented a house for a week with the full equipment. And oh, we're nice. just staying there all together like uh, as if we were uh, 17 years old, <laughs> drinking all the time, making songs all night. So, um, yeah, that works for us. We've done that the, the last two, three albums. I mean, so you kind of lock yourself away from yeah, the rest because, of life uh, and huddle down. If you don't do it, everyone has to, I don't know, go back to the girlfriends or uh, whatever, <laughs> you know. If, uh, none of us have any. Yeah, we do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you find the writing side easier or do you prefer being out on the road and playing live? Uh, hmm, I don't know. Both are uh, fun, in a way. Uh, so you've got to have one to have the other because if you didn't write yeah, new stuff you'd just be churning out the same things live all the time I know no, I don't know it's, uh, it's always fun to play but uh, write, writing is very interesting in the, the whole studio bit and uh, past years I've done uh, some uh, studio engineer uh, training oh, right, okay. as well yeah. so I'm planning to mix a new album myself I mean I've recorded the last two three albums uh, myself but I wasn't I didn't feel confident mixing them so. oh okay uh, but so at least I will you got the bulk of it done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is, is, that, is that something you want to like just do for your own band, or would you look at maybe producing other bands further, like you know, ten, fifteen uh, years I, or so? I just uh, don't feel confident in anything I do really. But uh, yeah, I would like possibly. I mean, I mix the new. Uh, yeah, some uh, bands from our Death Hammer, the new the album that's coming out right now. I mixed, and I'm also doing their next one. Okay. And, uh, some other bands in Norway, like it's gonna be quite confident <laughs> to work with these other bands. Yeah, 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 it's fun. Is it all? Is it all digital studio or is it a bit of old it's style? A, a bit, a bit of both. I just use whatever. Uh, yeah, like with that Death Hammer band, I just use their equipment to mix on, and uh, oh. and I have my uh, old stuff at home. I'm still. It's very expensive all, all that analog shit, so I'm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You get one valve that <laughs> breaks, and that's the entire thing yeah. gone. Kind of yeah, I know. Um, is there any plans to come and do like a proper? Run of dates in the UK at all? Or would you wait until the album's out next year? Yeah, probably that. Uh, wait till after the album because we feel I don't know, embarrassed about coming over. Uh, <laughs> Just playing <laughs> the same old stuff. Yeah, even if we never really play the same, old, we uh, tend to. We never play the same set list twice because we get. <laughs> it's quite uh, a bad get, catalog, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, with lots of good songs, so uh, we still have like four or five more songs that we never played live that we're going to uh, rehearse for our next uh, our next live set, I guess. That'd be cool. Yeah. I guess it gives the fans some news to look forward to yeah, as well. Yeah, and, uh, and we don't look bored on stage because that's horrible to watch, you know, bands who are just playing on, I don't know, autopilot. Yeah. <coughs> so uh, Makes you up and keep it fresh yeah. for yourself as well as for mm, the fans out there. Mm. Um, it's been a pleasure catching up with you, man. I hope uh, all the writing process goes well, and then hopefully we'll see you back next year with a new album and yeah. uh, some extra UK days. Hopefully. Superb. Thanks right. very much, man. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, thank you.
it's Mike, we're at MPA Recon. Alex from Suicide Silence. He said, How's up? it going, Jim? It's fucking going great. Yeah. Woke up this morning, we got here late. We didn't get to 